Hey everyone, Chad the Dad here. I'm the owner of Flow State Jiu Jitsu and I'm an ex martial athlete. Today I'm talking to you guys about cold exposure therapy. I know Wim Hof has made it really popular lately, along with Joe Rogan, Jocko Willink, and all those other motivational guys. Right off the bat, let's talk about some physical attributes that have been studied from cold exposure therapy, like more energy, boosting your immune system, it's a natural anti-inflammatory, getting better sleep, which is something that I noticed dramatically, increasing sports performance, workout recovery, autoimmune disease relief, so on and so forth. I can't get into the entire list of the possible benefits for cold exposure therapy, but know that the list goes on and it seems to keep getting bigger as time goes on. I'm here to talk to you guys about my personal experience getting into that ice barrel every single day for 100 days straight. So when I first did this, I just wanted to do 30 days. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because I live in Colorado and I know there's colder places in the world than Colorado, but it's very high elevation. The wind is extremely miserable. And I grew up in Arizona and I would get so miserable. And I, I guess I would say seasonally depressed because of how cold it was and the wind. And I begged my wife to move and she said we couldn't. And so I realized that I couldn't change the situation. And as the Stoics say, if we can't change the environment, then we change ourselves. And one person strongly suggested I looked into the uh, cold exposure therapy. And so I jumped on the bandwagon. I started doing my research. I bought myself a nice ice barrel, which stands vertically. So it doesn't take up a lot of space. And I started going at it. And I signed a contract that I wrote up for myself saying that I had to do it every single day for 30 days without fail, hop into this ice barrel, which was freezing cold for at least three minutes. And that's how my journey started. And I gotta tell you, my first week was miserable. And I every single time I jumped in there, I was like, there's no way. There's no way I'm gonna last the full 30 days. But something kind of changed after I got into that second week where things kind of adapted a little bit easier noticeably and I was able to do the three minutes not so miserably it was still miserable but not as excruciating as it used to be and then by the end of the 30 days I was actually feeling euphoric at the end of each single dunk that I did and I would go up to my wife and kids and I would tell them how much I love them I just thought I adored that euphoric feeling that I would get getting out of the ice barrel. And so what I did is I decided to challenge myself to go a full 100 days. And so I did 100 days and I pushed the limit to five minutes every single day. Sometimes I would do more, but I noticed I wouldn't get too much more of a beneficial effect after the five minutes. Once I did it for five minutes, I was kind of completely numb. I felt amazing. And so I was doing it every single day for 100 days for five minutes and I was feeling great. I was physically feeling great. My emotional response to stress was doing incredibly well. And all of a sudden I noticed that my ability to handle cold environments increased without me even noticing. Uh, the cold wasn't bothering me in Colorado anymore. I remember I went into the store once and I wasn't wearing a jacket and everyone was looking at me crazy. I didn't understand why they were looking at me crazy and I realized that they were all wearing heavy duty jackets. Now it's just in uh, jeans and a t-shirt. And when I got back to the car, it was 27 degrees Fahrenheit and it wasn't really bothering me, which that used to drive me crazy. If it was 27 degrees, I'd be sitting there cussing up a storm at Colorado, all miserable, looking at places to move that was warm. Uh, but uh, this time it didn't bother me. And that felt amazing that the environment around me was no longer controlling me. And I loved that. It, it got me out of my seasonal depression uh, very quickly because I was no longer being driven and uh, dependent on the snow and the cold, which was amazing for me. But I noticed the positive benefits mentally were so outstanding. I obviously noticed like much better sleep. I noticed injury recovery was good. Uh, workout recovery was amazing uh, for all those things physically as a jujitsu athlete. But the mental, the mental aspect of it was so incredible, so remarkable that I can't stress it enough. And I could never repay what cold exposure has done for me in that aspect because forcing yourself to that stress response and navigating it, even though you're in pain and you just want to run away and you want to escape, by getting over that, by 
jumping that hurdle, how good you feel afterwards helps you in real life. It helps you navigate stressful situations, maybe with your family at work, but in jujitsu, when you're in those stressful situations, how well it benefits you. So what I did is I ended up bringing an ice barrel to the gym and now all my students do it. Like some of them bring ice, it's like a little ceremony and I'll have a handful of students, if not more, every single day after practice, hop in the ice barrel and they love it. And so um, if you're a jujitsu athlete or if you're anybody really, I strongly suggest doing uh, ice therapy or cold exposure therapy or cold plunges, whatever you want to talk about it. Even if you don't have any way of doing it, maybe taking cold showers is a way to get started. But either way, just get started. Get Get doing it um, I love it I love the ice barrel I love cold exposure therapy and I just want to let you know I dread it every single time I'm about to hop in that water but the way I feel afterwards is so incredible the way I feel afterwards the long term you know after doing it for more than 30 days was really a life-changing experience so anyway if you're thinking about doing it I strongly suggest it don't hesitate make it happen